Hey guys, CC back with another video, and today's video is going to be a makeup haul. me or my channel just make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button also make sure you go ahead and click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can always be notified of all of my future videos because you never want to miss a single upload you also want to make sure you're following me on Instagram at Yvette Loves Beauty and also subscribe to my family vlog channel right here on YouTube at Bradley Party of Six all right y'all i'm so excited today i have some great products i have a nice range of affordable products and then i have a nice range of luxury products here and i'm talking luxury luxury okay your girl went a little crazy i thought i was rich i blacked out and i got a few things all right so <laughs> we're just gonna jump right into all the stuff that i grabbed First things first, I'm going to start off with this palette right here. This is a palette by Uma Beauty. I've talked about them plenty of times on my channel. I did my black owned makeup brands and I featured them. I also have a full video dedicated to their brand as well. But this palette was actually on clearance, I think, at Ulta. And so I got it for a really good price. So I was like, you know, I might as well purchase it. This is the... Uma Beauty Black Magic Palette in Savage and this is one of their original palettes that came out I believe. I chose to get a different one originally but I, I'm so happy I was able to get this one. I love the red tones and also the blues together in this palette and just really excited to use it on a look. So I want to say it was like $15 or $20 so it was really inexpensive and I'm so happy I was able to get my hands on it. Let's do a quick swatch because I want to show you guys that's one of the matte shades right there and then here's one of the shimmer shades so it comes with 10 shades five mattes five like pressed shimmer pigments and their shadows are so beautiful look at that Next, I picked up a product from Kat Von D. This is a new product from her line. And this is the Shake Primer. This is the High Impact Eyeshadow Primer. And I got it because I just thought it was interesting. I don't know what a Shake Primer... Oh, I haven't even opened this yet. Huh. Are there directions? Shake well. That's all it says. What are the directions? Shake well to mix. Remove cap. Press button on the bottom of the bottle to dispense one drop. Use finger to blend on lids. Let dry for a few seconds before, before applying eyeshadow. So shake well. Dispense one drop. Oh, there we go. That came out quick. It's liquid. But it's dry matte it's like a black liquid but it dries clear matte wow and it feels a little tacky like your eyeshadows are gonna stick oh girl oh girl we're gonna have to test this out we're definitely gonna have to test this out all right, let's move on to the next thing. I have this Tom Ford foundation. I ended up biting the bullet and buying their new foundation because he finally came out with a matte foundation. So this is the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. It's in the shade 8.2 Warm Honey, which I actually think is my perfect shade. And this is how it looks. Very luxurious. Ugh, I just love me some Tom Ford products, y'all, now. I don't know. He didn't spoil me. Oh, I don't even know how to open it. Look. All you do is, let me move my finger. Look at that. There you go. It just pops right on open, and this is how it looks. So let me give you a little bit of the specs. Okay, so this foundation is supposed to be a soft matte foundation with a hydrating silky formula and a medium to full coverage that lasts all day. So medium coverage, matte finish, liquid foundation for normal dry combination and oily skin types. It has soft focus microsphere powders and diffuses and blurs lights. 
Okay, all right, that's a lot of big claims there. So we're gonna have to definitely try that out. I'm gonna try to get a review up for you guys on this very soon. I'm very, very excited about it. Very, very excited about this foundation. It's my first Tom Ford foundation, so excited. Keeping it going with the luxury, I have two products from Gucci. Now, one of these products, actually both of them at the moment, you can only get in the UK. I have the bronzer and then I also have their new powder. But Sephora had the bronzer, they never had the powder, but the bronzer sold out before I was able to grab it. So I had to purchase it from a UK based store, Self Ridges. I never even heard of that store. But I had to purchase it from there. The shipping was expensive, but I ended up getting like a it's like free shipping for a year if you pay a certain price so i was like i'm gonna have to use that and buy some more stuff but <laughs> um i wanted these powders really bad so i ended up doing it so i ended up getting like i said the bronzer and then also the matte powder that just came out from gucci's line so let me show you guys the bronzer first this is it right here so gorgeous I got mine in the shade number four I actually had to order both of these twice because I ordered this one but both of them in the wrong shade I ordered this in the darkest shade which was shade five and it was just way too dark way too red so I ended up picking this one up and it's really the perfect bronzer shade just gives you a nice light toasted dusting on the face and it's very pretty I've actually already used it but very gorgeous same with this powder. I ordered it in the wrong shade. I got it in the shade 11 at first and that was just way too dark. So I ended up picking up the shade 9 and this is now the absolute perfect shade. Um, it's a matte powder. It has like little tiny specks of not glitter but just specks of um, like sheen in it but very pretty on the face. Gives you a nice filtered look. I think these powders are beautiful. They are very expensive but they're beautiful <laughs> so then i placed an order on elf's website and elf is like lit man i know i be talking about elf a lot but they are freaking lit right now so i seriously got like a ton of stuff right here that i just have in this box and i'm gonna show you guys i got a bunch of their new products so the first thing i picked up were these face erasers these are like little facial cleansing brushes so they're reusable soft makeup remover pads that allow you to remove your makeup with only water they clean your face from all types of makeup without the need to rub and scrub and you can just pop these in the washing machine and you can use them you know many different times so these are definitely reusable i got the black one and then i also got the white one very excited very excited to use these elf also came out with a new stay all night micro fine setting mist so this is supposed to be a matte setting mist and um it's just supposed to be really good i actually seen a couple reviews on this and said it was really good i can't get it open all right so i finally got it open let's just test the oh it is very fine look at that it's super fine. It's not gonna like ruin your makeup. Oh, smells good. Very light fragrance, smells very good. Y'all know I hate an aggressive ass setting mist and this is not aggressive at all. So um, I guess the only question would be if it definitely elongates the wear of your makeup. So um, yeah, I like it. Okay, so these I talked about in my previous anti-haul I talked about these my anti-haul plus shopping list video so I will link that video and I told you guys I ended up ordering them well they finally came and I got four of these bite size face duos elf has these bite size eyeshadow quads right here these are oh they're the same size in the same packaging but this is a face duo so it's a highlighter or a bronzer and um, blushes so this one I got is this one's in Spiced Apple. Look at that, so gorgeous. This one is in Coconut, and this is the bronzer and highlighter. We're definitely gonna have to do an updated full face of e.l.f. makeup, y'all. This one's in Pomegranate. How gorgeous is that one? So pretty. And then this one is in Guava. like i can't wait to try those out those are three dollars a piece three dollars i also ended
ended up picking up some more lashes from e.l.f. These are both in the social, no, no, no. One is in Troublemaker, I'm sorry. And then this one is in Social Butterfly. These are e.l.f.'s faux mink lashes. I've shown you guys these before. I've worn them before. I love these lashes. They're $5, they're reusable, and they're just so gorgeous on the eyes. All right, more new products from e.l.f. e.l.f. also came out with these facial oil mists. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I don't know how much I'm going to use them, but I wanted to try them out. So I ended up getting the calming one and then the energizing one on both ends of the spectrum. So the energizing one is infused with citrus oil and the calming is infused with lavender oil. So these are supposed to... The calming is supposed to calm your skin and your mood with a lavender oil facial mist infused with golden chamomile extract known to relieve the skin while the lavender oil aroma helps promote a calming and relaxing sensation. And it says if you need a boost, mist onto your face throughout the day as needed. And then the energizing one, it says it energizes your skin and your mood with citrus oil with citrus oil infused with white tea extract known to assist in revitalizing the skin while the citrus oil aroma gives your mood a boost of energy. And the same thing it says to mist on your face throughout the day if you need a little boost. So I feel like these are a little gimmicky but I'm definitely excited to try them out. I got one of their new lip balms. This is the Ride or Die lip balm in the, the shade Tough Cookie. They have several different shades in these, but y'all know I'm a sucker for a good lip balm. So I wanted to try out Elf's newest one. And then I picked up some of their liquid glitter eyeshadows. This one is in Purple Rain, and then this one is in Mermaid Shimmy. So I got a purple and a green. I didn't want to go for like the copper or the gold like I would normally do. I wanted to pick something different. So I just want to try these out and see how they work. I want to say these were only three bucks as well. So again, very, very affordable. And last but not least, they did give me a free gift for ordering as much as I did. So I got the Bounce Back Jelly Cleanser with Hydrating Coconut. I haven't tried any of Elf skincare products, although I bought some in the past. They're still sitting in my closet. I haven't tried them yet. So that's definitely something I want to do um, soon is try out some of their skincare products to see how they work. All right, you guys, so that is it. That is all for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any products from this video that you want to see in a more individualized video, like a makeup tutorial or review, please let me know down below. I do do a lot of my reviews on my Instagram. So again, just make sure you head over there and you're following me there as well. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.